lap of the Nürburgring is a difficult one to master. The start-finish straight comes up at you after the final corner at turn 16. It's important to maximize your speed onto there and get on that curves as well. You get a fresh allocation, don't forget, as you cross the line. Now, down into turn one, the track plummets away from you. Aim for the cone on the right-hand side and use a bit of the extra tarmac as well on the left-hand side. The car normally understeers quite severely through turn two before it goes back down the hill and it's hard to slow the car down as you're turning constantly into turn three. Flick the car to the right now and use all of the exit curb and extra tarmac on the left-hand side to maximize your speed onto the straight. Now, in towards turn six, a fast left-hand corner brings you into turn seven, the forward curve, and you can use a lot of the exit curb here as well to feed you onto that straight before you plummet back downhill towards the Dunlop curve down at turn eight. This one's a heavily cambered corner which means you can carry more speed than you'd first imagine and it helps pull the car to the right hand side and catapults you up the next straight towards this flat out left right kink at the Schumacher S curve. The track continues to climb towards turn 11, the 90 degree left hander break just after the 100 meter board, carry a lot of speed into this one, you can use the exit curb and then swing the car over to the right hand side at turn 12 and again all of the curb on the exit to maximise the speed on the next straight through the flat out right hand kink at turn 13. Get the car to the right hand side and brake again just after the 100 meter board, don't be too greedy around this final tricky chicane, it's easy to overdo it and lose speed. Then into the final corner on the track once again, feeds you on to the start finish straight, use all of the exit curb and that final curves boost and that's a lap of the Nürburgring.